Yeah. Hey, y'all. Uh-huh. Welcome to game night. Game at night. Bear Industries. Oh, that should be the name of my band, Bearheart Industries. Here for it. No, it should be Bearheart in the streets. Industries. In the streets, bro. In the streets, in the sheets. Bearheart in the streets, Bill Weinman in the sheets. <laughs> I should have reversed it. Bill Weinman in the streets, Bearheart in the sheets. That's so much better. <laughs> okay, I got to write a song now. Thank you. <laughs> they call me Bill Weinman in the streets, but Bearheart in the sheets. <laughs> you know I'm all about it. Ain't nothing that's discreet. <laughs> With the eyebrows all on fleek. <laughs> on fleek. <laughs> yeah. All right. And if you're not about it, then just turn the other cheek. Damn, I'm good. I spit bars. Yeah. yeah. This song has been written <laughs> by a by an animo, anamorphic anamorphic cat. The people, the, the this is what they want. They demand it. They demand it. Yes, they demand anamorphic <laughs> cats writing songs on synthesizers in space. Yes, but only if the so- songs are super go hard. Yeah, there you go. All right. Um, so uh, what's the plan tonight with the games? So uh, good news. I worked on getting Jackbox 4 fixed. So I have that and I have five, which is also working. So both of them knock on wood. Wait, this is what this is. Knock on wood are fixed. Yeah, Alex Jones Infowars. What? Alex Jones Uh, Infowars is blown away by my hard bars. Yeah, um, I I find it hard to believe that Alex Jones from Infowars is on our, our live stream. But, you know, anything can happen. It's the internet. But also, on the internet, nobody knows you're a dog. Um, that was disrespectful. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a famous comic. You haven't seen it? Mm, no. Garfield? Okay, hang on a second. No, 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 no. This is, um, it's like a, um, hang on a second here. Yeah, hang on a second here. This comic even has its own Wikipedia page. You still there? Yeah. You guys are looking at it. Alex Jones Infowars says Bo Burnham. (laughs) Which bear (laughs) have you have you seen it yet? Have you seen inside? No, it's it's on my list. Oh my gosh. Other things on the list ahead of that. I'm in the middle of um um I've been watching um the Fargo, the 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 Netflix series. Fargo. Oh it's not Netflix, it's um is it? No, 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 it's on Hulu, I think. Nice. Um, but, um, you know, I was a big fan of the movie and I had never w- even been interested in watching the TV show because, you know, the movie was perfect, but it got recommended to me over and over again. And I thought, OK, I'll watch it. And it actually is really, really awesome. Good to know. I'd so, let Bo Burnham nut on my sternum <laughs> again with the bars. <laughs> yeah. So so we're, we're doing the rhymes here. Did you see the comic I sent you? I'm checking. Hold on. On the internet, nobody knows your dog. Yes, that's good. And it, it even has its own Wikipedia page, that comic. Now that's what I call top memes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that, that, would be, that should be the goal of every meme meister is to have their meme have its own Wikipedia page, you know? Yeah, that would be good. All uh, right, who's ready to jack some boxes? All right, well, <laughs> Kirsten Heatwave certainly is. Um, hang on a second here. I, I need to. Uh, you need to rename. I need to rename. Yeah. You need to reevaluate your life choices. Yeah. 
<laughs> there we go. All right. So, um, yeah, let's do it. You know, you, you have the con. Sorry, it's Star Trek Day, so I'm speaking in Star Trek. Ah, yes, I see. Okay. Engage. Engage, boys. Welcome Make to my it desktop. So. I cleaned it just for you. Oh, thank Let's try you. it with Jackbox Party Pack that's 4. Actually, that's actually kind of sweet with the... the um, the desert landscape oh, apparently desert changes landscape. at different times of the day, which I really? heavily F with. Are you hearing that? Yes. Oh, amazing. Yay. All right. Okay, so I have to get the um, iPad ready here. Okay. How about we go back to survive the internet and try to do a round of that? Yeah? I don't remember, but sure. Well, actually, no, I found that it was better if I bring a browser window. Hang on a second here. I need a... Oh, I'm not going to hit it yet. Don't worry. I'm just fixing the sentence. I need a, a minute to uh, see here. This. Uh, yeah, exit full screen. And do this that over there and then bring this back and then take this this is like a very complicated process here that about that big and then, uh, okay i think we're ready Oh, no, I need to change that. All right. Okay. Do it. Full send? All right, let's do it. And we have, are, are we going to have other players? We need to have other players. I suppose we might. Ah! <laughs> Redonkulous. <laughs> All right, come on, people. All right, you so must all of join our us. bazillions of viewers out there, you need to you need to get logged in here. Um, Alex Jones, I you expect get, you, you will join us. You need to get ahead of the crowd. You need to get ahead of the crowd. Dang it, I lost my hair clip. That's okay. Please don't this have hair pencil. clips. I will use a pencil instead. Yeah, so I guess you're a long-haired cat. Yes, I am. I am a Maine Coon. It's probably not the cat I'd identify as, though. Uh, are you adding the thingy to our Twitch stream, Kristen? Mm -hmm. You're amazing. I brought you. I'm looking at this direction. Yes, I figured. <laughs> Now I'm addicted to digits, thanks. <laughs> Hi, Angela. I'm glad you liked it. I, I didn't go back and try it again, but I probably will. Did you go back and try digits again, Bear? No, 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 no. I, I, I've been either napping or busy all day, but I need to make a note to do that, so. Okay. So some of you people have to have to join us. Angela, would you care to join us? Info Entertainment, I see you're chilling here too. What's up? Want to join us? Code EVNH at jackbox.tv. Well, there it is. Okay, so I've got it here. Yay. Oh, it says this game is going to go away on August 8th. I saw that, yeah. Well, I'll enjoy it while it's here. I'm guessing um, um, it wasn't probably wasn't very popular because people don't like math. I love math. People don't like math. All right, I'm gonna press the button. I'm getting tired of waiting for for these. All right, all right, do a countdown. Do a countdown. All right. 
Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid <laughs> I can't do that. Four. Three. Two. One. Three. Two. One. <laughs> There's only three of you, huh? Hello. Well, look who it is. It's my good buddy, Gene. He's in a oh. level two improv class, so you know he's going to be funny. Hey, Gene, oh. there's actually enough room on the internet for everybody. So feel free to join the audience and vote along. To quote the Black Eyed Peas, let's start things now. Oh, this game. I remember this game. Welcome to the net. My name is Todd, and I bet you don't know my banking password. Give up? Okay, it's Todd78. Oh, I did it again. Here's a quick but skippable tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So, in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on <laughs> whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a news site. Man, InfoWars really should have joined us. Yeah. <laughs> so you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can. Watching these prompts come up on the screen, it's hilarious, this message. It's the moment of truth. <laughs> Can't handle them anymore. Who looks the uh. most ridiculous here? Place your vote now. Here's what people think. Here's who twisted your words. They get some points. 
and you, the victim, get some pity points. Good gravy. <laughs> Good gravy. Who should I be the most proud of? Let's find out. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to a crowdfunding set. <laughs> You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. Here's your clay. Now mold it into something beautiful. Ready or not, here we go. Why do they keep giving me jeans? Vote for the comment you think looks the most absurd. Let's see who got the points. Holy mackerel! <laughs> Let's see what that round did to things. Ooh! You're tied! We tied! Let's switch things up and go to, uh... Check-in site. Check out this new prompt. Or don't. I'm not your dad. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Let's see what you rascals came up with. Ah. <laughs> 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 
Boys go to Jupiter. That's clever. <laughs> All right, let's get those votes in. Let's see who got the votes. Oh! <laughs> it's time for the scoreboard. Oh. And our last stop of the game will be at a photo sharing site. And points are worth double this round. <laughs> Here is your last prompt. Okay, it's the last round. Go for the nuclear option if you have to. Okay, let's see how you've grown as writers. It's voting time. Okay, here are the verdicts. Ooh, even <laughs> split. <laughs> Drum roll, please. It was close. The winner. Nicely done, you have a champion. Percy. Now enjoy your special prize. Uh. Ah. Oh. Hey, Bernie. Um, Porky Pine Butler said, and also, what did? Person wins. Are we doing it again? No, what? I'm trying to exit. Probably the only time of the evening that I will win. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Pick one. I have no idea what any of this. Okay, are. hold on. They're they're loading. I see. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Come on. I'm waiting. All right. So everybody who wants to follow along, just go to jackbox.tv. Husband and Wi-Fi. Okay, there. I got it. Okay, let's see. Dating We're themed game where you send funny messages and hide your secret monster what? powers. What do you think? Oh, and then there's this one. Debate tournament. And this is another drawing one, probably. No, 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 no drawing. All right. And this is guessing weird facts about each other. Oh, didn't we do this once? We did a different one. Yeah. 
Okay, so um, let's look at a different party pack. Okay. I do want to try some of these at some point, though. Okay. We might end up liking them. All right, let's try number five. Let's. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have to leave at exactly seven. Okay. Having dinner with the kids. Or watching them have dinner. <laughs> Let's see, what is you don't know Jack? Well that's trivia. Like fun. That does. I like I like trivia. Alright, let's try this. Okay. There. A binge pipe main menu. Are you tired of streaming services that are actually real and provide real services and aren't just a satirical rapper for the latest iteration of a video game franchise? Well then Binge Pipe is for you. Oh, hey, we got some new ones. Where's, where's Kirsty? There's Capsation. Kirsty. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. That's what I had a says. great time on our day tonight. You want to come inside and watch something? Hey, it looks like I joined twice. I know what that means. The I've midget. got binge pipe. The only stream <laughs> that's better penguins. than casual sex. The very same. The following binge pipe content is sponsored right, by Bob's Shoes. All right, let's get a countdown. Shoes. Not only are Bob's Shoes one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes you'll ever own, Ten, but for every pair nine, we sell, we eight, donate another seven, pair of kids in need. Six, but if five, you return a pair, four, we nine, take a pair away three, from a kid in need. Two, Whoa. Bob Shoes. Boom. You better order the right size. Coming soon. A new blockbuster film. Binge Pipe is honored to be the new home of You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. We'll be your alibi if you'll be ours. Hey, it's your host, Cookie Masterson, and here's a free idea. Pants for plants. You're welcome. <laughs> Before we begin, did everyone figure out which cast member of Riverdale they are? Good. Ready or not, here we go. Start the game. Time for question one. First question. Singles night at the watering hole. Picture it, a suitor with an impressive neck beard decides to go full alpha and approach the fastest mammal at the bar. He tips his fedora and says, Milady, Malayan, Malama, or Maleopard Seal. Oh shoot, I was wrong. You get it wrong. So what'd you pick? Seals swim at an impressive rate, but not enough to seal the deal. <laughs> Alpaca it in and go home. <laughs> Lions have been clocked running 50 miles per hour in short sprints. Uh... Sorry, animals, it's closing time. The trivia time. is hidden in the you question. Don't have to go I get home, it. But you yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, that took me a minute. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Next, the hills are alive with the sound of math. Suppose the Von Trapp family shared a Netflix account. If Georg and Maria had a joint profile, how many of their kids would be excluded from having their own profile? Seven kids, five kids, three kids, or one kid? How many kids were there? And how do we I do? I know there were a lot of them. 
Netflix allows up to five profiles on a shared account. There are seven Von Trapp children, so three of them would be left out here. Nice! See, I didn't know all of those details. Which means little Gretel will be ruining everyone's algorithm with all those Paw Patrol episodes. <laughs> Why don't we do it with Creed? I love the music. Oh, here's a good one. I waxed my tongue, now it Thor. <laughs> I'm gonna read seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a Norse god like Thor, or a brand of hair removal wax. <laughs> Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between a Norse god or a body wax. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Good. Free up. The majority of you are just average, but player four, uh, tough one. You failed to live up to my already very low expectations. Uh-oh, binge pipe diagnosticates that someone is pouting. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. <laughs> Happy to engage with you. <laughs> Feast your eyes upon this. Barrier necessities. Suppose Mexico.com put up a paywall. What should the pop-up message say? To view all seven states, please subscribe. To view all 15 states, please subscribe. To view all 31 states, please subscribe. Or to view all 40 states, please subscribe. Let's see who got it. Uh. It's Cancun, not can't -coon. Should have just given a fake email address. <laughs> Correct answer, reveal yourself. Mexico has 31 states. I had no idea. But American spring breakers only know about the state of inebriation. <laughs> Coming up next, Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? It's monster. <laughs> Shell Collector. Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? Let's see how that shook out. <laughs> Octopi build decorative gardens out of shells, rocks, and garbage they find on the ocean floor. Sure, when an octopus lines their space with trash, they're brilliant. When I do it, I'm asked to work from home. <laughs> I, I got that right, but it didn't list me. That's it for round one. Hey, voice, what data have you captured? Currently, player one is in the lead. And on the other end of the spectrum, these players are negatively affecting our averages. When the going gets tough, the tough gets more screws. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be afraid to use them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. I feel good about this. Six trombones is not a parade. 
I call this one Welcome to the Jungle again and again and again. I think what made Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle so great is that they added a Guns N' Roses song to the name for no discernible reason. Which of these potential Jumanji sequels does not have a Guns N' Roses song awkwardly tacked on to the title? Jumanji Civil War? So watch out. Player 5 oh. has unleashed the screw. You guys remember your password, right? Hope you like what you picked. Knocking on Heaven's Door, Paradise City, and Civil War are all Guns N' Roses songs. So they would, of course, fit any Jumanji title like an awkward glove. But Back in Black I is an known ACDC this. song. I got it wrong. Now, I don't know for sure the Guns N' Roses have been writing their songs with the Jumanji franchise in mind all these years, but it's hard to believe that this is all just some crazy coincidence. Nicely screwed, Player 5. Spend this wisely. Wow. Je trouve Jerry Lewis sonnant légèrement amusant. Set. Here's one for you. You catch more bees with lemonade. If the queen bee, Beyonce, had the same diet as a queen bee, what would she sing? All the single babies? All the single babies. I don't think you're ready for this royal jelly. I weigh, okay, I weigh, okay, or uh-oh, 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 oh no, ovule. I love this part. Way? No way. In the wise words of Beyonce herself, uh-oh, 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 oh, no. Royal jelly is a viscous substance secreted from worker honeybees and fed exclusively to queen bees. But if there's no royal jelly available, most queen bees have hot sauce in their bag. Swag. Was then I learned to heed the winds of it. It's time for... Will someone think of the mollusks? And uh-oh, chest strut fits lime floor. Porcupine Butler predicts it's that cursing will win. Get those typing fingers Ooh, ready because I'm the longer this. you take, the less money you make. Okay, oh, focus up. Okay, Check out this, this gibberish one. phrase and let me know what popular saying it rhymes with. Won't feta bread slugs fight? And don't let that punctuation fool you. Please rest easy. By avoiding the pests. Stop insects from consuming you while you sleep. Okay, pencils down. Player one. Congratulations, you're the most wrong. <laughs> Watch close. Oh, got it. Okay. Now let's keep going. That took a second. I have no idea how that worked. And now, disemvoweled. Which of these serial killers was executed by a literal game of hangman in 1896? John Way, N Gase, Un of Am, Jack the Ripper, or Holmes? Okay, let's take a look. You choked. The letter missing is H, and H.H. H. Holmes was hung in 1896 for killing somewhere between 20 and 200 people. Wow. Wow. I once applied to be an executioner's assistant back when I was desperate for work, but apparently beggars can't be noosers.
This is hard. This I'm not one's doing known well, as like hindsight it. is 2020. The world's largest ketchup bottle in Collinsville, Illinois, is 170 feet tall. If you just had to guesstimate it, how many gallons of ketchup would that hold? 6,400 gallons, 64,000 gallons, 640,000 gallons, or 6,400,000 gallons? What'd you guys pick? You say tomato, I say you're wrong. Ah. Uh, yep, that adds up. 640,000 gallons. I hope you want a million fries with that. Ow. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We may It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Brand name faces. I hope you know what your brand mascots look like, you capitalist drone. Interesting. <laughs> You won! Bask in this! Bask in this! Basilisk! Basket! Wait, what was I saying? You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind the scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Good job. Well, I almost broke even there. Binge right, pipe so, loves um, all you. I got 15 minutes left. All right. We could do a fast one or we could call it here. It's up to you. Um, I, I didn't understand the uh, choices. Uh, we could do a fast one or we could call it here. Oh, let's do a fast one. Okay. Come on. We Please got, work. we got people. We yeah, for people sure. Every week. All right. Okay. I'm going to switch back to my original Wi-Fi. All right. 
That'll usually fix it. That usually fixes it. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Okay. We'll do a quick murder trivia party then. There you go. And all kinds of alerts pop on your screen. You ignored every one of them. Yes, I did. You know, we might have enough people for push the button. But we should probably just do a quick murder trivia party. Oh, how did you beat me? <laughs> I was so fast. I got them fast fingies. It also probably shows up on your screen before it does on mine. <laughs> that. All right, let's call it here. Yes. Okay. Ten nine eight seven six five a little. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. That glowy review in Wheel Hotels magazine was a fake luring you here to fight for your life. Only one of you will survive, but the memories we create will live on forever. Okay, first question. Who cannot reproduce? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Nice! Way too easy! Good job. Let's keep moving. Who solved the secret of the old clock? Who picked this? Yeah, I should have picked that. I thought about the it after I you, clicked. It's time. Welcome to room 113. The hair dryer's broken, sorry. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. The player who writes the fewest of my words will die. Get your typing fingers ready because I'm starting right now. Dear phone company, why am I being charged for conversations that I did not enjoy? Can I send them back like every meal I order at a restaurant? Also, do you think this would be a good premise for stand-up comedy? I may try visiting an open mic night. Time's up. Okay, now I'm just going to do a quick editorial review of your work. And here's how you did. One of you Ooh. did not take this job seriously. I don't usually win That's that. not even close to what I said. Oh. Oh. You can still win. We've all done it. Surprise! Remember, dead players are still players, just more see-through. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's 
let's try another one. How could I describe my favorite lead pipe? Who picked this? Technically, it would be malleable. Everyone is wrong. That's what that was. Oh, yeah, it is malleable. It's lead. Welcome to room 237. It's time for some pegging. Okay, now that I've said that out loud, <laughs> it does sound weird. You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. You know what? We need some death zones. Hey, you, pick the landing slots that kill. Okay. Let the games begin. This was a lot that harder sucks. to build than you guess. Aww. I was worried that no one would find the death zones, but whew, I'm relieved now. I was pegged to death. You've been pegged. Kirsty's in the lead. I had some good times growing up in this terrifying hotel. I would kill to feel like that kid again, which is sort of the whole premise for this game, I guess. Oh, that's always happening. Let's keep moving. Never Let Me Go is a coming-of-age novel about a group of kids who turn out to be what? <laughs> who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. We're going to play with mirrors. Oh, hey, look. The ghost of my Aunt Mildred is writing on this mirror. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror, and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. Start writing on that mirror. Watch closely. One of these new words will be a word written by Aunt Mildred's ghost. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Oh. <laughs> um, that's a weird mistake. It's time for you to join my Aunt Mildred. Is everybody dead now? Yeah, he's probably gonna have to bring back Kirsten. You're all dead already? What the <laughs> heck, guys? Of course we are. I've only got five minutes left. I gotta get more sleep because I don't know what the hell just happened. Let's try this again, I guess. It's time for the next question. Which hostess snack has a swirl of cream inside? Oh, I forget what they're called. Um, I think it's these. <laughs> Who picked this? One of you is still alive. Come with me. It's the mind meld. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Write your answers now. Now, let's see if there are any matches. Brain oh, cell, good. activate. Someone Brain cell, activate. To you being murdered. <laughs> of course you picked you. 
I should know you guys better than this. <laughs> Oh, you got a kill bonus. We're here. The final round is close. Next question. Which of these instruments is Dr. Teeth, the band leader from The Muppet Show, play? Oh my god. Um, I'm guessing. You know, I'm actually too old for this for yes. the Sesame Street. I think the Muppets is not Time Sesame Street. Time for consequences. Oh look, it's the loser wheel. Spin it, it's fun. I love taking this thing out for a spin. Bazinga! <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> ah, crap, I killed everybody? I guess I'll bring one of you back. Yay! It's kind of arbitrary, but you have the most money. Uh, anywho, the time has come. Good night, Porcupine. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Akira Kurosawa Films. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. But wait, there's more! If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is a- I'm going too easy on you. Locations in Game of Thrones. Time is almost up. Oh, I missed one. <gasps> You're gaining on me. Descriptions of the Grinch. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Here comes the darkness. Poisonous plants. The darkness approaches. Acronyms. Time is almost up. You're better than I thought. Next question. One of the seven chakras. Not the thigh gap. <laughs> well, it depends on how you name them. You can name them. Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. One last trap. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Oh my gosh. The tables have wow. turned. I was so close. Group three. Is almost up. Yes! Okay! 
gluten free. Let's go. <laughs> Good job. And look at that. It's six fifty nine. It is. It is. And now it's seven. The immaculate timing. Just, I mean, immaculate. So, um, love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Um, Fine said. Run, Rickety. <laughs> uh, tomorrow morning at uh, 1100 here from fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada for breakfast and games with Bearheart and company. We'll see you then.